What's up guys, Linus here, and welcome to Secrets of Skyrim Episode 1. This is a series in which I show you some hidden things I found in the game, maybe some beginner tips, that sort of stuff, and it's just to help you guys out, some tutorials, you get the idea. Now, I'm not trying to do this all professional, I'm mostly doing this just for my subscribers, I'm not trying to get too many views with this, so um, if you see this, I'm sorry that's not the most professional. Anyway, let's start. Let's say you just bought Skyrim. You just, you know, you just made your character, you were looking at the races, you thought, hey, why not go with a badass orc? So you make your character, you name him Badass Orc, obviously, and you complete the tutorial. Now, after you complete the tutorial, you just walk around the countryside, you do some things, you know, you beat up some Imperials with your bare fists, uh, you beat up a conjurer, maybe, uh, a couple of spiders, you fight a bear in hand-to-hand -hand combat, you know, that sort of stuff, it's all normal. And uh, nothing, nothing exceptional there. But you're actually looking for something that packs a bit more, well, punch. So, you start looking for a weapon, and what is better to crush some skulls with than a two-handed axe? Perfect for a badass orc, because that's your name, remember? Now, what you want to do, I'm going to show you this right now, is after you complete the tutorial, and you follow the path with Rayloth or Hedvar, but not all the way, after a bit you go left, as you can see in the video, and you come across a bandit camp. Now, you do not want to fight these bandits, maybe you do, but I didn't. Um, although you can defeat them, there's another skill book right in their camp. Uh, but you follow this road, right next to the lake. And after a bit on your left hand side, you'll see a weird looking sort of ritual place. And if you walk up, you'll see a novice conjurer. Now, I suggest just beating him up, killing him. Um, he's got some nice robes on him. And if you look on the table, there's also a nice book that re uh, boosts your conjuration skill. And that can be pretty useful also if you want to use that skill. Now, after you beat him up, you want to walk through the bushes over to this tree. And you can already see from a distance that there is a dead woodcutter lying on the floor. Now. If you loot him, you'll notice that there's nothing special about him. He's got an iron dagger, some fur armor, nothing special, right? But if you look at the axe that's lying right next to him, you'll notice that it's called the Woodsman's Friend. Now, it's not too special, I'm not trying to show you overpowered weapons, but it is a unique weapon, and it could be nice to start out the game with this. It looks pretty cool, I think it's just an iron two-handed axe, nothing too special, but it's pretty cool that it's named, and, you know, it's lying right next to that woodcutter, it's pretty special. So, um... That's how you find it. Now, as you can see, you cannot cut down trees with it. It actually doesn't have any use except for being a weapon. Um, but it's still a cool weapon. Um, and that's the end of the, t of the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy The Woodsman's Friend. Um, I probably will. After a bit of research, I actually found out that The Woodsman's Friend is actually stronger than a normal Iron Battle Axe. As you can see, they look exactly the same. There's no change in appearance at all. But the Iron Battle Axe it has a higher value, but a lower damage, as you can see. Now, that means that it's worth less money, but it's also stronger. So it actually does make it a pretty good weapon if you just start out. Anyway, just wanted to let you guys know that I didn't mean to include this in the actual video. Um, but I just hope it helps in your decision to get this weapon. Uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I helped you, too. That's also very important. And I will...